Deflation is the opposite of inflation. It is a scenario where prices of goods and services in the economy are generally falling. Deflation is said to be worse than inflation for the economy. Let us understand why. If you were to buy a new car, mobile phone, or TV set today, but you knew that the price was likely to fall over the next few weeks, would you still buy it today, or would you wait till the price falls? Most consumers would choose to postpone the purchase to a later date. This puts pressure on sellers to reduce prices to attract buyers. While it might be good for consumers like us, it is not ideal for manufacturers and sellers who will then choose to invest lesser, decide to not construct that new plant, or reduce jobs, or fireworkers cut costs, and this can spiral completely out of control. Would it be great for you if you were a factory worker? You get the picture. Deflation usually occurs when supply exceeds demand and hence causes prices to fall. In other words, too many goods and services and insufficient money in the economy chasing those goods and services. A major cause for increase in supply of goods and services is productivity improvement. And in recent times, technology advances have played a key role in improving productivity. Think about this. A computer can do the task that probably five accountants did 20 years ago. Or for instance, cloud computing can reduce the need for having onshore IT personnel at every single physical office location. It is highly important to understand this link between technological changes and productivity improvement. This is a long-term structural trend in the world, and hence prices of goods and services are in a long-term deflationary environment. Japan has been the world's poster child case study for deflation, and it has been generally in a deflationary environment for most of the period from the 90s to even now. 